In this video guys we're going to be looking at how to create a YouTube thumbnail in InDesign in under five minutes. This is not for the first time I've attempted this challenge. I've got a couple of other videos, one in Photoshop and one in Illustrator. One of them went well, one of them didn't, but you can go check them videos out. I'll leave them up in the cards now. They're also in a playlist. Remember if you get something out of these videos please smash that like button. It helps to show this video to other like-minded individuals if you want to support my channel. Hit subscribe and turn on notifications. Anyway, without further ado, let's shove five minutes on the timer and get into the video, guys. So the first thing you want to do is create a new document in InDesign. It needs to be 1280 by 720 pixels. And um, to change it to pixels, just click this drop down box. Um, once you've got that, hit create. First thing I'm going to do is bring in an image. To do that, I'm using this rectangle frame tool. I'm gonna to create an image that goes all the way across and we can do file and we've got place which is command D. Select the image that you want to use and hit open and that'll bring in the image. The next thing we're gonna do is use some of these things at the top here. These are the um, fill frame options. The one I'm starting to use most now is this new content aware fill. Click that and it will scale your image down without losing any resolution and also without squashing your image which is exactly what we want. So the thumbnail we have decided to create today is a Taking Better Urban Photographs thumbnail. So I've got a really nice image here and all I really need to do is to make this look a little bit like my own branded work. So we're going to apply some brand principles like using fonts and we're using colours and it should just start to pop as some kind of template we may be able to use later as well. So here's the image in front of us. What I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to scale it up a bit and I'm going to move it over to the right side. So this left hand section here is where I'm going to be putting the text. So to scale it, I like to press E on the keyboard, which is this uh, free transform tool, which allows you to, when you press shift, scale it up. So I'm just gonna scale that up a bit, move that around. To create text, we're just gonna create a couple of text boxes. So the first one is gonna say take better. And we're gonna change that into the font that I use on my brand, which is Euro, Europa Bold. So we're gonna use that. We're going to change it to uppercase by clicking these two T's here, all caps, and making that bigger. So we've got take better, which is going to be my first line of text. Urban photos, which is going to be my next one. On two lines, it's going to make those loads bigger. I've already got a bit of a thumbnail coming together, but I'm still not fully happy with it. So I'm just going to scale this up slightly, a little bit more by using that E key on my keyboard, free transform. I'm going to try and make these bits of text pop by adding some boxes in the background. If I had a box, I'm going to use this rectangle frame tool. I'm going to create a box around that piece of text there. Change that to black. Then I'm going to use the same again, but I'm going to drag that with pressing Alt. So that duplicates it, make it slightly bigger. Pull that out. Change the text color. I'm going to send that behind by clicking on the right and going to range, send backwards. Oh, there's a nice shortcut there you can use as well. Send backwards again. That should give me the text. Keep clicking. Turn it to white. You can now see the text over the image. Just going to bring this text down and try and adjust the sizing. What we've got here it is 112. So I'm going to have this around about 60 if I can. Or half the larger text, which is a good rule of thumb. What I'm going to do next is change the size of this text here. I like to grab everything on the page and then deselect the background. As you see, I've only got them foreground bits now uh, selected. I'm going to group that, Command G, E, and then Shift, and I'm going to drag it bigger. As you can see, the text now goes over the hands on the right hand side. Some large text on the left hand side. Can I make that slightly bigger? Okay, so we've now got the brand font there, but I want to include some of my brand colors. So to change this to my brand colors, I'm using the CC Libraries tool, which is in the Adobe package. I'm gonna change these two boxes here to the nice sort of off black that I like to use. And I may even change one or both of these to the yellow that I use. Maybe the yellow would do well on photos. 
bring that text up a bit because it's a little bit far down on the page. Just going to bring that box up, tighten it all up a bit. Grab that. I'm going to center that as well. The text. So do this. I'm using just grouped it. I'm going to use here line to page, and now that it's in the center of the page. So there you have a YouTube thumbnail designed in InDesign in under five minutes. But I'm not going to stop there. I'm going to put a few variations on this one design to show you how easy now you've got this one template, how you can create other ones a little bit quicker. you have three different thumbnail designs for YouTube all in InDesigns but once you've got a template it's quite quick to be able to create more than one thumbnail. I've gone for a similar look and feel using my brand colours and my typography which gives it a cohesive brand look and feel. If you got something out of this video guys remember to smash that thumbs up like button if that's your thing. If you want to support my channel and want to see more videos hit subscribe turn on notifications to be alerted for when I upload another video just like this one, this one is part of a series of videos I've done. I've currently done one on Photoshop, one on Illustrator. This is my InDesign. I've got another one what I'm going to be doing in Canva. So watch out for that one popping up. I'm going to shove some uh, playlists up in the card above now so you can check that out as well. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I will see you in another video. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you get something out, oh, Turn on notifications and if you got something out of that, oh, crikey. They have three different thumbnail designs in YouTube. Oh man, come on. So, so they have three, th 12, 12 in a tree. Right, let's do this. Okay.